Hi everybody, Sandy here. Welcome again to my channel and to Fun Friday on Saturday. This is a really quick video. I missed showing how to make this waterfall. I did it off camera. I gave the dimensions in week three, but this I added in between week two and week three, and I forgot to show you how to make the waterfall. It's really simple. It's a basic waterfall. So I will be showing you that. Uh, I had someone ask about that and then about the pockets. I think they're referring to this pocket, but this one is shown in video for week two, as well as the one here with the tags. I don't show making the tags, but I do give the measurements in week three. So these two pockets here, which are the only pockets that I have in this fold-out book booklet, we're done in week two. And I'm going to show you now how to do the waterfall and give you the measurements again on those. I think I gave the measurements in week three, uh, yesterday's video on Friday, but I'm going to go ahead and show you that. So this is uh, Fun Friday on Saturday, a quick uh, follow-up on this waterfall. The waterfall is just a basic waterfall. You're going to need uh, three pieces that are cut at four and a half by five and you're going to put your five in at the top and score each one at a half inch so we'll do all three of those so those are our three waterfall flaps now to make it the way i did you're going to want what i call another mat piece of cardstock that is four and a half by four and a half and we don't score it so let's fold and burnish our waterfall flaps i don't have an album page to show you how to put these in but i'll go over that with you let me get my mat now i on mine i did take the half inch i believe it's the half inch let me look to make sure yeah the half inch punch on my crop doll and i just punch the corners of the bottom opposite the fold of all three just like that almost got the wrong one there <laughs> okay so now we have those and then i also punched on the uh, matted one, the, the mat that goes underneath just on one edge. This is a square, so it doesn't matter. Two on the same side. That's going to finish it up underneath on that album page. <laughs> For the closure here, let's score that real quick. Real quick, you have a piece of cardstock that is um, one and a half by six. We're going to put the six in at the top, and you just score it a half inch to attach it into the book. I'm just going to score that or burnish that right there. And then I also rounded the corners here on the end, just like that. So that's going to go on like this. Now then, pretend that this is your page here, the width of your page. Uh, this, you're going to have about... Three quarters of an inch from the edge of your page. So the page starts, the width is on the inside cover of that little booklet, about six inches. So I'm going to put this ruler right here. So this is our page from here to here. You're going to take your first waterfall piece and you're going to glue it three quarters of an inch from the edge of your book so that you have three quarters on each side. See how it's centered? Three quarters here, waterfall, and this would be the edge of the book. You can attach this down at the top of your page, okay? Then you flip it up. You glue the second one right up against the half-inch cut line, the fold, so that you have half-inch in between. So when this one comes down, it's kind of hard for me to, to do it with it. You're going to have a half-inch space down here showing. Then you're going to do the same thing on your third one. It's going to glue right underneath. Make sure they're always lined up. So when you end up on your page, I'm going to do a little attaching it down just 
Ted. Let me see here. Let me find a tape, small tape runner. Thought I had one here that I could peel up <laughs> just to help me show you. Well, I'll just use some little bit of score tape. I can rub it up. So our first one would go on our page. And I would use glue, the six inch, three quarters of an inch, and straight across the top of the page. So that would be on your page. Your next one, your adhesive would go on the back side of the flap. I wish I could find that video clip because I remember watching it and I don't know what I did with it. Goodness. So this one you butted up. To this one right and you of course when you've got the all your glue on there it's much better but make sure it's even got a space there so when that closes down see how we have a space right here and then your third one goes underneath that of course adhesive on the entire half inch section here that folds back this one butts up under here. Make sure they line up so that it's got the half inch down there. And then this last one will attach simply up against the fold, the, the cut line of the last flap. So that when it folds down, it looks like you have four. But the whole piece, this whole piece glues down to your page. Then you cut your pattern paper. I uh, cut it, uh, let's see here, did I put it down? Yeah, you cut four, that are four and three eighths by four and three eighths, and then round the corners. Four and three eighths by four and three eighths for your patterned paper. Now the closure piece. This one right here goes underneath that. So you put this on before you glue that mat down. It's going to go right under here. I just kind of line it up against the edge of it and attach it down. Then the magnet, you're going to use um, you use the magnetic disc. Take a plus and a minus. Put one here. Then attach the other on the opposite side. And then you cover both of these with pattern paper. So your closure, I use the mauve. And I cut two that are one and three eighths wide by five and a quarter tall. And that's the waterfall for that section of your album. Grab it real quick. Got it upside down here. <laughs> Turn it around. Okay, so there's how it looks in the book. Okay, got the magnet that attaches here, here under the patterned paper and under the uh, mob guard stock and there's okay so i think that's it that covers it uh for what we missed if i find that missing video clip doesn't matter now i've redone it for you i apologize that it was left out because i know when you want to make one just like this one it's a little confusing when you don't see something and, and and like i said when i watched my video i thought well i did those off off camera i guess because i don't have the video clips anyway guys have a great weekend. I'll see you next Friday for this project. We'll continue remaking the album, uh, the Homer's Diner. I checked, it's still not in stock, but I'm hoping it'll be there real soon. The warehouse got moved uh, to its uh, location right by the brick and mortar store. So that's exciting for Country Craft Creation. So as always, check out countrycraftcreations.com for your shopping supplies and um, subscribe. To my channel if you haven't already if you just happened upon this video and you haven't seen any of my tutorials yet i have a ton on my um youtube channel i have some that have it in a playlist because i have more than one video for each project not every project that i do but for the bigger ones i have a playlist so like this one it goes into a playlist that you can find the first videos easily and work through the whole project so subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up and i'll see you next time bye bye Thank you.